Hello everybody, in today's video, we're going to be doing a full review on the Hamilton Beach Deep Fryer. I got this one off of Amazon for a really, really good price. And in today's video, we're going to be unboxing it. I'll be setting it up in the kitchen. And then we're going to be deep frying some chicken and uh, some gizzards and some fries. And we're going to be doing a full test on all three to determine if this is worth the money and to see how the food tastes. So now let's get to unboxing and we're going to test out this bad boy. All right, so when you get it, it will look like this. This is my first time taking it out. I just opened the box. All right, so you're gonna take away all the paperwork. We don't follow instructions in this house. So let me take it out of the box real quick. Now that I have taken everything outside of the box, this is all the stuff that comes with it. Check it out. All right, we just wiped this down, so this should be ready to go. But it comes out right here. You can see the minimum and the maximum. That's the amount of oil you need to put. That's how it looks up inside. Put this back. And now we're going to assemble it. Assembly, it is extremely easy. This is the power cord that comes with it. All you have to do is plug it in the back, just like that. And then on the handle and the deep fryer part, all you have to do is squeeze these together and then pop them in these two sides right here. So that's one and that's two. And bam, now you got a perfect handle ready to go. You can put this bad boy in here. And then here's the lid. After you put the power unit on, simply put in the fire and the lid, just like that. Make sure you align these two holes to this unit right here. And bam, this one's aligned. Now you just plug it in and you are ready to cook. All right, now we're going to prepare some chicken so we can fry it and we're going to add some oil to see how good this bad boy works. But before we start frying food, Make sure you hit the like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel and make sure you check out the link in the description box below. It will take you directly to the Amazon spot where you can buy this exact fryer. Anyway, let's start cooking. All right, now that we have everything set up, we got our food prepared and we have added the oil. I added the oil like in between the line. So between minimum and maximum and I have put it to 375 because we're going to be frying some chicken. If you look at this oil, it looks extremely different from regular cooking oil because this is like the frying oil that restaurants use. One of my buddies gave me the hookup, so I had to use the professional oil that the professionals use. All right, and now in the sheet that comes with the fire, it will give you some basic instructions on what temperature to use, the cooking times, and what kind of food you can cook. As you can see for chicken is the bottom one. We're going to put it for 375 degrees, 13 to 15 minutes. Right now it is heating up and right here is everything. 375, the power is on. The green button is not flashing because it is not up to that temperature. Once it reaches 375, then the green button will come on and we'll be able to add our food. So we're about to throw in our food and continue the video. All right, now that the green light is on, you can see the oil, it is completely clear. And we have our chicken ready right now. We did a light breading. I am not sure if this is going to be enough oil for the chicken, but if it's not, I would just add more That's one, put in another one, and another one. All right, so now I have one extra one left over. I think I did need to add just a little bit more oil. But as you can see, it is deep frying it very nicely. I will turn it over here in a little bit, but now I will add the lid. And yeah, you can't see it really on the camera, but you can lightly see it from the light. 
And now we're just going to wait 13 to 15 minutes and our chicken should be done. But if you're watching this video, you know we're going to speed it up. Let's go. All right, now we have about three minutes left on the fire. I did just take the lid off and I flipped over the chicken. Since I did not have enough oil, as you can see, the tops are sticking out. So I had to flip it so both sides get cooked evenly. But the color is an amazing golden brown the smell oh my god it is absolutely delicious i will cover it now you can add about three comfortable you can also squeeze in the fourth chicken leg but i do not want them touching and sticking together so i'm playing it on the safe side and only putting in three now i will put the lid back on and we're going to wait another three minutes so the other side gets cooked all right Bam. Now that the timer has gone to zero, it started beeping, our chicken should be ready. I'm leaving it in here for a little bit longer just because I had to flip it over, but I am going to take out one of them so I can cut it open to see if it's cooked on the inside. So if you check them out, you can flip them over. They look delicious, but here we go. And take it right over here and I'm gonna use one of my knives in order to cut it to see if it's cooked on the inside if not then I'll just throw it back in there and cook it for a couple more minutes all right I had taken out one of the chicken legs and I put in the last one I had and it is super super crispy and it tastes absolutely delicious best of all it is perfectly crispy nothing fell off none of the butter that we put on it came off everything is still intact and it looks just like from the store and with the cooking oil that i used oh my god it tastes exactly like restaurant fried chicken or one of the fast food places that specializes in chicken so the hamilton beach fire when it comes to cooking chicken it is absolutely amazing all right, as you can see, the fries are golden brown. They are absolutely delicious. Here's the last chicken. I already ate like two more, and it was absolutely delicious. And as you can see, we just added a fresh new batch. Oh, it's fogging up my camera. All right, and if you lift it up, put it down. It is absolutely awesome. I am officially in love with this Hamilton Beach fire. It is super easy to use. Oh my God, it, it is just absolutely awesome. And now I'll add the cover. It is so difficult to actually cook the food and wait till it's all done before you start eating. As I was recording this video, I literally ate three chicken legs. I ate a bowl of fries with some reds, hot sauce. Now I'm cooking even more fries. As soon as it comes out of the fryer, I'm eating it. It's just like too tempting. It just smells too good not to dig in. Now we're waiting for the last batch of the fries to cook in. As you can see, the fries do generate a little bit of like smoke. I don't know if the camera is catching this, but if you have one of these fans, you can simply turn it on and it will suck up all the smoke. I have it turned down because it just makes too much noise for the video. But so far the fire has been absolutely amazing, the food, is delicious it keeps all the crisps to it none of the flouring falls off the chicken it is absolutely delicious the fries are delicious these are homemade fries but if you have the store-bought one you will be able to fry them in here as well and they will be absolutely awesome but other than that the food comes out amazing guys it is definitely worth the money it is not too big it is not too small it is just absolutely right you'll be able to throw a couple chicken legs in there some fries some gizzards some onion rings whatever you are into you'll be able to deep fry it with this little baby if you want to buy one just like this i'll have a link in the description box below it is like 30 40 dollars but worth the money i'm telling you the food that comes out of it it is like restaurant quality and it is crispy delicious just absolutely amazing all right everybody if you enjoyed this quick little review make sure you hit the like button on this video also subscribe to the channel and 
wait for part two when we start cleaning everything right here all the oil that spilled out and as always see you in the next video peace out